Hey guys, it's Marie Antoinette here for your Mental Health Monday. I haven't done a live in a while. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm sitting on a balcony in a little town in Cairo and I've been uh, connecting with my heritage and my family and, and connecting to uh, the wisdom that is um, here in Cairo and in Egypt. Now you may have thought that I was going to uh, do a video that was showing you the pyramids and some of the beautiful sites, but I've actually chosen to do this live in a little town here to show you that, yes, I am having the best time, Maureen and Maria. Thanks for saying hello. Um, I'm just in a little town that, I'm, I'm just gonna look down to see what it's called. It's called El Dahe. And it's a little town where uh, my extended family lives and they've been absolutely wonderful. And I don't know if I can show you, I'm gonna kind of turn the camera around. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see much, but I'm just gonna show you a little bit down there, which is not much. Um, so um, it's not much, but really the message that I'm actually wanting to connect with you guys is about connecting with ancient wisdom and our heritage um, and how important that is um, to our souls and mental health. So I'm just going to help you make the connection in this, that our souls are always seeking completion. And there is ancient wisdom within our bloodlines and there's ancient wisdom within our generations. And often we lose connection with that through the families. And, you know, perhaps, you know, we've lost connection with particular relatives or things like that along the lines. And so information and wisdom has perhaps been lost through those generations. And so being able to connect to your heritage is healing within itself I have to say so um, often uh, we don't do that and we live in a very multicultural society in um, in Australia and so there's a lot of connections that we may have to different countries and to different heritages and what I like to do is to um, encourage people to connect with their heritage and connect with their history and connect with the sacred information that is kept within those histories. So some of the situations that I found myself in is uh, realising the cultural difference in, in different areas that I've been going to and, um, and seeking to understand its wisdom rather than uh, saying that maybe it's old fashioned. Thanks, Sian. Um, um, maybe it's old fashioned or it's not um, applicable in this day and time. But I would suggest that we, um, w we look at these things with an open mind and we see, well, why were things done in these ways? Why were things, um, you know, what is the wisdom behind that? Hi, Lee. Um, so <coughs> I've got a bit of a cough at the moment. Um, I, I, I encourage you to have a look at the photos that I've been posting. <coughs> particularly some of the sites because there is some wisdom and energy that comes through those photos and there are partic particular photos that I've, I have posted up that do hold energy. Some of you have been commenting on them and, um, and realising or feeling some of that power. So this little town that I am in is very humble uh, and very beautiful and some of the connections that I've been uh, making with my family have completely and totally uh, touched my heart. And, um, and some of the connections with the ancient wisdom that's here that's been amazing. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a connection around mental health with that. I spoke about that before, but it's more to do with our souls and our connection. And so whether your heritage is within Australia, I would, I would suggest or encourage you to connect with ancient wisdom there through the Aboriginal people or um, wherever you're from, seek that connection through your heritage, but also go a little bit further back and find out about the history that is within you because it is within you. And that wisdom can be brought forth within you for it to be used. Um, used in a way uh, where it may guide you, whether it's uh, religious beliefs or, or, or customary beliefs or traditions or things like that. It's somehow, um, I miss you too, Lee. Um, <laughs> I'm so looking forward to seeing you all. Even though I'm having a time of my life here, I'm looking forward to seeing you all. Um, what I was saying was that 
it's important to connect to that wisdom because the wisdom is actually within us and sometimes when we go to places or sacred sites or uh, situations like that we can download information we can actually bring that through our crown energy and into our body and so that we can use that information in our everyday lives uh, and we can come from a place of wisdom from there so thank you all for yes ancient wisdom is always there to be uncovered definitely thank you for commenting I can't continue with this video because I've got a really sore throat so I'm going to try and do another live I'm actually um, very sadly heading home uh, tomorrow but I'll see if I can do a, another live wherever I can and I just want to say um, thanks to everyone who's come on board if you think this video is going to benefit somebody please share it so that they can listen to it as well and I want to say something to you I want to say Zayakum <laughs> Kalukum which means um, how are you everybody in Egyptian um, so we've got a dadiri. Uh, <laughs> I'm just reading the comments there. But um, I just wanted. Uh, my, there's been a joke here amongst my my extended family <laughs> that if I didn't do a live or I didn't um, speak English soon, that I was going to forget how to speak English. But I'm. <laughs> this is probably the most English I've spoken in about uh, ten days. So that's really interesting. Hey, Vanessa. Um, so if you've just jumped on, maybe you want to go back to the beginning and watch the beginning of this. Um, I, it is a bit of a shame that I can't show you everything that's here around me. Um, I will try though. I'm just going to turn it around and see if you can see this little town. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so that probably, <laughs> that probably wasn't much, but... Um, you obviously can have a look at some of the photos. I'll be posting some more photos up as well. So um, the last thing I want to say to end this video is what I do uh, for my Mental Health Mondays is happy Mental Health Monday. See you guys.